If seemingly random and unrelated issues plague your computer, it's entirely possible that the power supply is at fault. After upgrading the TV tuner in a factory-tuned HP computer, I began to notice issues like graphics card crashes, random shutdowns, and a loss of Ethernet connectivity. It turned out that the stock power supply was only powerful enough to uh, provide power to the factory components, and the upgraded TV tuner was drawing just too much juice. In this episode of Tech Report, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the power supply in your desktop computer. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that the power supply you're planning on purchasing is in fact going to be an upgrade. What you'll want to do is open up the case on your computer and take a look at the wattage rating of your current PSU. It should be printed on a label inside, on a, it should be printed on a label on the side of the PSU. When upgrading, I would recommend that you go at least 200 watts above your current power supply. So for example, when I was upgrading that HP computer, I went from a 350 watt stock power supply to a 600 watt custom one. Power supplies can be found at most computer stores, and if you do a little bit of shopping around, you can usually find a pretty good price. Doing the actual upgrade to your computer is actually a pretty straightforward process. After shutting down and disconnecting the power from your computer tower, open up the side panel on the case. Now, each case opens up a little bit differently. Usually there's two thumb screws at the back of the case, but if you're at all unsure, check the user manual that came with your computer case uh, to avoid damage. Once the side panel is removed and the guts of the computer are exposed, uh, go, you can go in and disconnect the power supply from all the components that could be powering, such as the motherboard, CPU, CD or DVD drives, and hard drives. Your power supply might also be connected to things like an extra Molex connector on your graphics card or a floppy drive. Make sure that all of this is disconnected. Note that many power connectors, especially the ones that connect directly to the motherboard, have special tabs on them to hold them in place. If the cable doesn't simply pull away, make sure you look for one of these tabs and pull it back to avoid damage to either the connector or the component it's powering. I find it's helpful to uh, bundle the cables of the power supply together with a rubber band just so you know it's all going to be in one place. At this point you can go ahead and remove the four screws at the back of the computer case which hold the power supply in place. After this, the power, after these are removed, the power supply should simply lift out of the case. However, if it doesn't, make sure you look for any latches or levers that are holding the unit in place. Now it's a simple matter of unboxing the new power supply and inserting it into the old case. Screw in the screws and then just go through and reconnect all of your devices. It should be noted that the last four pins on the main motherboard connector can be removed on most power supplies. This is so that the uh, power supply can be compatible with just about any motherboard. Once everything is reconnected you'll want to power up your computer and I would recommend powering up your computer without completely reassembling the case and connecting all of your peripherals, as if there is a problem, it makes troubleshooting a lot easier if you've already got the case open. Once you've booted into your operating system, verify that all your hard drives and CD drives, anything that you disconnected from the power supply are functioning properly. Once that verification is done, you can shut down your computer again, put the case back together and reconnect all of your peripherals. Pop the case back under your desk and you're laughing. All things considered, a power supply upgrade is a fairly quick, straightforward, and painless process, especially if you're experienced with computers. When I first attempted the power supply upgrade on my HP computer, it was about one and a half, two years ago, and I was a fairly inexperienced with computer hardware. The entire process took me about two hours. By doing these upgrades yourself, it's possible to save a lot of money in labor costs, and besides, doing your own computer upgrades is great for learning more about how your computer operates. 